हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम नाउ टुडे वी विल स्टडी समथिंग अबाउट ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी सम क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स बेसिकली इट इन्वॉल्व्स न्यूरो एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम मोस्टली सम अदर सिस्टम्स आर आल्सो इन्वॉल्व बट मोस्टली इट कंटेन्स न्यूरो एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज प्रोटोपोरफाइरिन it is also known as ferrous protoporphyrin it is nothing but him him of hemoglobin it is the protoporphyrin in our body let me tell you one thing if you haven't subscribed my channel please do it as early as possible so that i can post similar items every time name the inhibitors of blood coagulation answer is oxalates citrates and heparin next is what is the state of iron in met hemoglobin it's in ferric state or ferrous state it's in ferric state normal hemoglobin level in blood what it is it is 10 to 15 gram percentage 13.5 to 17.5 gram per deciliter in male and 12 to 15.5 gram per deciliter in females what is prosthetic group of hemoglobin again it's him what do you mean by virilism virilism means appearance of male secondary sexual characters like beard mustache and cessation of menstrual cycle in females what are glucocorticoids Glucocorticoids are actually steroid hormones produced by zona fasciculata of the adrenal cortex which are mainly concerned with anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive actions and with metabolism of carbohydrates lipids and proteins for example cortisol corticosterone etc these hormones have glucose regulating properties that's why they are called glucocorticoids what are characteristics of diabetes mellitus basically there are few characteristics four or five basic characteristics it has hyperglycemia hyperglycemia means hyper means more glyce means glucose amia means blood it is about 300 to 1200 mg per 100 ml of blood then there is polyuria means more urination frequent urination polydipsia means very frequent thirst high thirst polyphagia hunger and glucosuria means presence of glucose in urine what do you mean by silent areas of brain these are the areas present in the cerebrum or cerebellum surface on which lesions cause no sensory or motor symptoms are you getting the points next we come to mammillary bodies what are mammillary bodies these are a pair of small nipple shaped round bodies located at the ends of anterior arches of fornix these are part of hypothalamus now fornix is the primary outgoing pathway from the hippocampus and involved in memory what is pepe's circuit it's a fundamental component of the limbic system of the brain it is closed neural circuit tree that starts and ends in hippocampus have you heard about amygdala amygdala is a structure in the brain neural structure it is important part of the limbic system involved with processing of emotions memories and motivation what do you mean by valves of vive sense this is a thin layer of white matter stretching between two superior cerebellar peduncles forming roof of superior recess of the fourth ventricle we come to another part of the question now here it is dura mater arachnoid and pia mater or pia mater this is from the meninges dura mater is made up of fibrous connective tissue composed of two layers periosteal or endosteal layer and meningeal layer it contains dural venous sinuses in between these two layers it creates falx cerebri tentorium cerebelli falx cerebelli 
and diaphragma cilia. Second is the middle one is arachnoid matter. It is made up of reticular connective tissues. It is composed of collagen and elastic fibers. Now pia matter. Pia matter is the innermost layer. It is comprised of collagen and reticular fibers. It is highly vascular layer that supply the underlying surface of the brain over cerebrum. It creates a perivascular space. Now, have you heard about this Simon's disease or Simon's disease? It is also known as pituitary cachexia. It is a chronic deficiency of function of the hypophysis. It is a type of hypopituitarism. It leads to atrophy of the heart, liver, spleen, thyroid, adrenals and gonads and it results in emaciation and death if left untreated. Sheehan's syndrome. I hope you have heard about this term. This is damage to the pituitary gland caused due to loss of life-threatening amount of blood during childbirth causing severe low blood pressure and excessive hypoxia only in females. The symptoms are shrinkage of breasts, low BP, low blood sugar, inability to regrow shaved pubic hairs, infrequent menstruation. What is Nelson syndrome? It's a syndrome caused due to enlargement of hypophysis. It occurs in persons undergo surgical removal of adrenal glands for Cushing's disease. Symptoms are intense skin discoloration, vision impairment, cessation of menstrual periods, absence of cortisol and aldosterone. Have you heard about acromicria? It's a premature menopause syndrome. It's a rare genetic syndromic intellectual disability having polyneuropathy, premature ovarian insufficiency and brachydactyly. Next we come to adrenal gland or suprarenal gland. It has got two parts, cortex which is mesodermal in origin and medulla which is ectodermal in origin. Cortex contains three layers. First layer is zona glomerulosa which secretes mineral corticoids like aldosterone, deoxycorticosterone, fludrocortisone. This is the structure of aldosterone. The hypersecretion of aldosterone causes Kohn syndrome or aldosteronism with symptoms like high BP, high blood volume without edema, high sodium and low potassium in plasma damaging the kidneys. Second layer is sona fasciculata which secretes glucocorticoids and sex corticoids like cortisol, cortisone, dexamethasone, prednisone, hydrocortisone, prednisolone, butesonide, etc. Its hypersecretion results into Cushing syndrome with symptoms like moon face, buffalo-like hump, wasting of mineral leads to wasting of limb muscles. Now, zona reticularis is the innermost layer of cortex which secretes sex corticoids like ethinyl testosterone, medroxyprogesterone and norgestrel. The medulla consists of chromaffin cells which secrete two types of hormones, epinephrine and norepinephrine which are known as catecholamines. Why does glucocorticoid have inflammatory effect? Because it in induces synthesis of lipocortin which is inhibitor of phospholipase. Because it also inhibits formation of the precursor arachidonate. The hormones of thymus gland. Thymus is also a gland in front of the heart in the chest region. It has got two hormones, thymosine and thymine. Thymosine is secreted by reticular epithelial cells, which produces antibodies to keep the young ones immune. It accelerates cell division. Hypersecretion leads to myasthenia gravis with abnormalities in myoneuron junction. Another hormone is thymine, 
which may be of two types, thymine 1, thymine 2. They help in inhibition of release of acetylcholine at motor end plate, which is the strongest nerve in human body. It's none other but sciatic nerve. It's the largest and thickest. It's main continuation of all roots of the sacral plexus. The smallest nerve in our body is trochlear nerve, which is fourth cranial nerve. The least number of axons are present, so it is the smallest and yet has longest intracranial course. Hyposecretion of glucocorticoids leads to Cushing syndrome as we have discussed earlier. Now we come to the end of this lecture. The hyposecretion of both mineralocorticoid and cortisol leads to Addison's disease having excessive loss of sodium chloride and bicarbonate ions. It increases potassium ions. It has got bronze pigmentation of the skin with low BP and decreased resistance to infection. Zona fasciculata and zona reticularis together secrete sex corticoids. These hormones are secreted by or as DHEA means dehydroxyepiandrosterone. They also secrete androsterone which are androgens androstenedione and female sex hormones like estrogen and progesterone. Its hypersecretion causes two defects in females. One is hirsutism, means presence of facial hairs and excess body hairs. And another is virilism, having presence of male secondary sexual characters like facial hairs, beard and moustache, having male-like voice and stoppage of menstruation and overgrowth of clitoris in females. In males, it leads to gynecomastia, having enlarged breasts in males. The next question is formation of epinephrine. How is epinephrine formed? The mother, it starts from the mother product tyrosine. Tyrosine, tyrosine gives rise to DOPA, means dihydroxyphenylalanine with the effect of tyrosine hydroxylase. DOPA gets transformed into dopamine with the help of dopa decarboxylase. Dopamine forms norepinephrine with the help of dopamine beta hydroxylase. Norepinephrine forms epinephrine with the help of phenyl ethanolamine N methyl transferase. Hypersecretion of adrenaline causes hypertension, high blood sugar, high BMR, nervousness and sweating. Progesterone is called pregnancy hormone generally. Its hyposecretion results in abortion. So it is also called anti-abortion hormone. Inhibin hormone. It is produced by corpus luteum, placenta and testis. The three parts of our body, they produce inhibin. It helps to supplement effect of excess sex hormones for depressing gonadotrophic activity uh, like FSH, LH, ICSH. With this we end our lecture, so have a nice time and a good result, thank you.